Good morning here. I'm Blake Pennington here with Hunter Gautreau, Joe Edgeway, and this is East News. Today we're going to be talking about just sports in general and about, do you think Brady Quinn, he's a free agent now, what do you think, where do you think he's going to go? Oh. Jets, they did quarterback. Yeah, they do bad. Trent Richardson is considered an alleged bust. I mean, new offense, he's a He's a young guy. I mean, it's kind of hard to go into the new offense that's more passing because with Peyton Manning, like they used to be, they, they wanted to pass the ball more than anything because he just can't get the ball running. I mean, after he got traded, he's learning a totally different offense. I mean, he's got to learn with different guys. I mean, it's just I don't think he's a bust quite yet. I mean, give it a couple more. I mean, like the team he left from was the Cleveland Browns. Not a very good team, and they're clearing out their whole staff. I mean, like they're clearing out everybody. I mean, like they're clearing out coaches, they're clearing out players, everything. And I mean, he's trying to convert over from that star offense to a high-powered team that's high up in the pros and can play some ball. And he's converting from a team that's not very good. He's always finishes last in the league, last three in the league. I mean. So about Sam Bradford tearing his ACL, he's out for the season. Who do you think the Rams will have next? Tebow. Tebow. Yeah. You, you can't know, go wrong with Tebow. I think, I think actually with them, um, calling Brett Favre and asking him if he wanted to play, and he said no. I mean, I think he would do great, but think about it. Brett Favre coming in with the Rams. He wants to come in at 44 years old, and he's one of the best shapes of his life right now. And he's coming in. I think he wants to go with a team that's actually Super Bowl ready. So I think they might actually call back Tebow to the yeah. Rams. Yeah. Can't go wrong with Tebow, dude. I mean, but I think Tebow needs to be converted over to like a tight end. I mean, because we'll Tebow's. Back. I mean, because like his form throwing is not that good. I mean, he, he can get the ball where he needs to. It's just his form's not that good. Not as accurate as he wants to be. I mean, playing in college ball, he could play because like he was a lot more. He, he was a lot more talented than the other guys. And the team he played for was a lot more talented than most teams. And it's, and he had a good he had good receivers, good line, everything. I mean, he could do whatever he wanted to with that team. But the team he's playing for now, I mean, I mean, went to the pros. It's a different level of ball. I mean, like you got guys that are just playing playing hard, and it's for, it's for, it's like they're living. It's how they lived. I mean, he has so Nick, much hope though. Yeah, with Nick Foles battling a concussion, Ooh. you think Michael Vick's gonna step up to the plate for Ooh, the who Eagles? Else will? Chip Kelly ain't gonna do that. <laughs> well, that that is true. Yeah. I mean, he might go call one of his organ buddies and put him Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How about last night? Oh, man. Boston. Boston and Cardinals. Boston, Boston put putting the whipping. Boston putting on them. I was really proud of Boston coming out playing strong ball and they're wanting to win. They're looking for a win this year. Playing and strong ball is different from playing weak ball by the Cardinals with having three errors in the first couple of innings. I know. Well, I mean, the, I and mean, the umpires. How about this? The umpires coming out and overturning a call that was point blank. Everybody in the stands knew the answer to the call, and they called him out for the transfer. How did how did they see that? I don't know. Now he's supposed to look at their feet. And listen for the catch, but I mean, how do you how do you sound a tip off as a catch? I don't know. I don't think the Blues were really there last night, but I mean the hitters from Boston were just locked in, ready to roll. I mean David Ortiz comes in, knocks one out, almost he goes right off Pedroia. He has bases loaded, comes in. He's been. Um, he almost hits a grand slam, and then yeah. Carlos Beltran comes yeah. up and bruises a few ribs. And then I think they did right actually taking Beltran out. I mean, because you're getting beat five to nothing at that point. Just take him out. Take him out. Yeah, I mean. And don't waste one of your star players. But then Adam Wainwright was doing not that great. Him and he and um, Yadier Molina a pop up in the middle of them, and Adam Wainwright calls it, and then it just falls right there in between yeah. Yadier and him. Yeah. But I mean, it's just Boston was playing solid ball, being smart, come out. Playing hot, I don't think St. Louis was expecting him to come out playing that hot. I mean, most people think the Red Sox are in it to win it, but I think the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are more set for a World Series than the Red Sox are. I think the Red Sox are just coming up and like kind of hot tempered, hot heated. Like this, they're getting the rush here in the first couple games. But I think the Red, the Cardinals overall have a better mentality of the game because they've been there. Recently. Well, I'm really thinking that Boston's going to win it in five games. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. That Boston's going to take it in five. I, I really think they'll don't take know. it to six. I really do. I don't think. know. I mean, if they play ball like they did last night and St. Louis doesn't do something about it, it's going to go away in four. 
Okay, what about the next game? Do you think Cardinals have them, or do you think Red Sox have them? Oh, no. The Red Sox are coming off a win. The Sox are, I mean, Cardinals are going to play ball because they're mad. They're fired up, really wanting to get a win. I think so it'll go either alive. way. I mean, yeah. I think the Cardinals coach is going to have a I kind mean, of like a pity party and get really mad and have a come to Jesus meeting with his players about how poorly I mean, they played. Everybody that we talked to is saying that you can't really predict baseball. I mean, I mean, but the like, like, I mean, but the Red Sox are like slightly more prepared than St. Louis is, and like they're ready for, like, just, I mean, they're ready for big games like this because they pull through in you know, big games. I mean, like this is their third World Series in what ten years, I think, um, something like that. Cardinals are doing really well in World Series. Yeah, this I know. Year too, so. I mean, but I mean, but like, see, Boston's got a solid team right now coming through, playing hard ball. That's all here today. Come back and join us soon. I'm Blake Pennington signing off for East News with Hunter Gotro, Joe Edgeway, Tech Icy Boxlight.